welcome along. Uh, this evening I'm putting together a brief yoga flow to help de-stress the mind and the body. So the main thing is that you just listen to your body, pull back whenever you need to and just allow yourself to try and really keep your focus and your energy projected inwards this evening. So without further ado, lay back, allow your feet to find full contact with the mat, your spine just to melt downward, palms up. Taking a nice long breath in through your nose, part your lips and a heavy sigh through your mouth. Two more times. shoulders to soften, fingertips to curl up into their natural state. Allow your spine to softly start to come into their natural curves. Effortless effort here. Bring your hands into your heart centre. Breathing into the centre of your chest. Take a moment, please, to set an intention for this practice. My intention is that all of you can completely de-stress. Allow the hands to find the mat. Gently lift the foot off the mat, slide it over to the right and allow the knees to drop down to the left. Try to relax all the muscles of your face, breathe into your lower back here, allow your knees to become nice and heavy. Allow the knees to come back into the midline and find yourself back in the centre by lifting up and grounding down. On the next exhale, you're going to lift up and bring the hips over to the left edge of the mat and allow the knees to descend down to the right. Feet fine to the mat. Two knees come into the midline, you're going to draw circles with the back going right and then gently to the left. A good grip on the knees or else you can grip in around the shins depending on the range of movement or flexibility that you currently have at the moment. Take the right leg, set it right up towards the ceiling, flex back through the foot, toes down towards you. And then point and flex the foot. So point and flex. Hold toes down towards the face. Draw the leg in ever so slightly. Start to work on the exhale. So you're drawing the leg in a little bit closer on the exhale. Allow that leg to release down, gather in the left, send the foot nice and high, toes down towards you. After a breath or two, again, you're going to flex through the ankle joints. So remember, we're standing on our feet all day, so it's important that we give a little bit of TLC to our feet. Hold down. You might notice now on the exhale that you can come in a little bit closer. Once again, gather the two knees in, grip at the back of your hamstrings, the back of the thighs, roll yourself on up and find a comfortable seat. Lengthen up through your spine, allow your hands to softly rest down on the knees, chin draws in, ribs draw in. You're taking the left hand to the right knee and you've got a spinal twist by allowing the eye gaze to go back behind. Eye gaze can drop down. You might even want to close down your eyes and just really focus again 
transforming your whole focus and your, all of your energy within. Allow the body to unravel. Allow the right hands to find the left knee. Go for length and then on the exhale, move into that space that you've created with that inhale. Interlace your fingers as you come back to the midline. Draw your chin in towards your chest and try and separate your fingertips. You should feel a lovely opening up on the shoulders. We hold lots of stress in our lower back and into our shoulders. So we want to make sure that we have a nice release as we move and flow through the practice tonight, focusing in on these areas. Unopened. Right palm of the hand drops down towards the mat, left earlobe to left shoulder, eye gaze forward. Pressing firmly down again, releasing it to the neck. Coming back to the center, allow the hands to rest on the knee and just observe the difference already between the right and the left side. Hopefully you can feel that. Left palm of the hand, pressing down, right ear up to right shoulder. Come on over now into all fours. Take your time. Take the knees directly underneath your shoulders and the hands directly underneath your shoulders. Sorry, the knees directly underneath your hips and the hands directly underneath your shoulders. Take a breath in, drop your belly down into cow pose. Keep the arms nice and strong and the shoulder blades drawn away from your ears. Now exhale, round. You're coming into cat here. Hold at the top for a brief moment. Root into your hands, draw your chin towards your chest. Drop them down now. And a steady movement, flexing up and down. You feel like you want to go a little bit quicker for a few repetitions, please feel free to do so. Always listen to what your body is asking it to do. It's continuously sending us signals. From here, a neutral position. Yeah, so nice long back. Pour your toes under and lift your tailbone towards the ceiling, a deep knee bend. Just press firmly into your hands, press your heart back towards your thighs, hold here. Nod your head yes and no. Start to lengthen out the legs on the exhale, taking your time, pedaling down into the heels right and then left. Coiling right up onto your toes and then anchoring some weight down into the heels. They don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Just get some length into the legs. Eye gaze forward. A deep knee bend as you walk towards the back of the wrists. Allow the body weight to hang forward from the waist. Grasp the opposite elbow of each arm and sway from right to left. Lifting off the ribs, slow, controlled, mindful movement. Let the arms hang. Very gently start to curl up slowly, root into all four corners of your feet. Feel the hamstrings, soften the arms, the toes start to grip. Take a deep breath in, allow the arms to extend with the breath. Exhale, interlace your fingers at the base of your spine and draw the knuckles down towards the mat. Now, when you do this, you notice that you've got a rib flare. So draw the ribs in as you draw down and open through the chest. Soften the knees and exhale, come forward. 
into the forward fold, drawing the knuckles up, up and over. Let the arms go. Inhale, halfway lift. Pushing through the crown of the head. Exhale to close. Step the right leg way back. Make sure that you've got some length in that back leg. And push the crown of the head forward to keep the spine long. Take the right hand, place it into the mat. And twist gently open to the left side. Draw the left knee in towards the midline. Allow the hand to come down. Step forward into that forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Hand position is yogi's choice. Exhale to close again. Left foot goes way back and shift the eye gaze forward. Left hand on the mat. Right gentle twist. Right side. Knee draws in. Allow your hand to frame the front foot and step forward into a forward fold. From your forward fold, you're going to slowly and gently unravel the spine. We're going to do some gentle balancing postures. So your option is to toe tap down into tree pose, also known as Brikhanasana. Or you can place either on the calf, you can place it right above the thigh. Really, whatever feels better for your body. Yeah? A steady eye gaze. So balance is something that diminishes as we age. So it's very important that we keep focus on it. It's also very demanding of being in the present moment. So forgetting about our woes, our worries, our stresses. Steadying our mind steadies the body. Allow the foot to unhook. Realign your hips, pushing back, pelvic tilt, anterior tilt, just a couple of rocks, forward and back, finding neutral and changing sides. Whatever variation you chose on one side, you also do on the other. This is a lovely open for the hips. Really good for strengthening the ankle and the leg that you're balancing on. Drawing the navel in. And then softly unhook. Find yourself in Tadasana pose. So spreading up, open through the toes. If you lift open and then allow them to sink into the mat. Arms nice and wide. Away from the center, yeah, so draw them away from the midline. Inhale, lift. Make a Kali Mudra, so that means it's almost like a yogi gun. So, thumbs touch, index finger touch. Draw the biceps back in line with your ears. Squeeze your bum and tip yourself over towards your right. Take your eye gaze up towards the ceiling. Lifting up off the ribs, create more space for more fresh oxygen to come into the body. Back to the midline, squeeze your bum again, and off you go over to the left side. Take a breath in, exhale, completely release. So a gentle flow, inhale, lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Right leg steps way back. Step back into downward facing dog. Glide into box position. Take the left hand underneath the right elbow. Right hand goes towards ceiling or remains on mat. You can also opt for a bind. Reach your body inner thigh. Allow yourself to find that hand underneath the shoulder, coming back into box position, downward facing dog. 
three-legged dog, the right leg goes into the sky and it glides into his hands. It lands nice and light. You look forward and step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, close. Step back with the right foot. Eyes go forward. And then step back into downward facing dog. Glide into box position. Take the right hand underneath the left elbow. High gaze goes up. Square your hips off. Option hand on mat. Ceiling or go for that bind. Come back to the center. Hand pressing into the mat firmly. Into box position, into downward facing dog. Take the left leg, please send it high into the sky, three like a dog. Glide it forward, steady in. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to close and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Breathing in. Exhale, close. Inhale, length. Courtesy step please, left foot behind right. Sit back and down. Find Dandasana, staff or stick pose. Lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine and energize your legs. Pull the toes back towards you. Lift up through the crown of the head, keeping this space broad by drawing the shoulder blades back and down. It's like a soft V throughout the back. Allow yourself to really feel the support of the mat, the support of the floor. Feeling that connection, being mindful of each point and each area that you can feel. The heels, the calves, the hamstrings, the back side. Allow your back side to come towards the middle of the mat. And bring your feet flat, send the arms long, curl through the spine, slowly allow yourself to lay back and down. Gather the knees in, allow them to drop and drift to the left, eye gaze to the right. Come back to the centre, exchange sides. Back to the centre, soles of the feet meet, allow some weight to come into the right and the left side, draw the navel in ever so slightly, hands facing up or they can rest down on the body, whatever feels better for you. Legs go wide, let the arms go wide, soften the body, take a deep breath in, exhale out, surrender and completely let go. Resting in your Shavasana pose and I recommend that you stay here for a minimum of 10 minutes. focusing and keep projecting all of your energy within you. This is your time and this is your space. All my love. Namaste.